Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've had a super, super popular request. It is for a red panda, this little cute thing. So get yourself some plain white paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off with the tree that the red panda is sitting on. So just draw the trunk to the left hand side. Then there's a branch that comes round. Then it comes round and goes downwards. We're just doing this very roughly. And then the bottom of the branch comes round here. Just like so and goes off to one side. Now we're going to start the red panda. So first of all, we're going to draw a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just a rough circle will do. So I'm just going to very lightly in pencil, don't press too hard because we're going to erase all these lines later. Just draw myself a circle here. Okay, it's gonna form part of the lower leg. Next, we're going to draw another circle that's slightly smaller to the right hand side of this circle and slightly higher as well. So here's our other circle. Here we go. Just a rough circle, just like this. Okay, you can see that mine aren't perfect at all. Next, we're going to draw the ears. So they've got these lovely, big, fluffy ears. So one here, shaped like that, and another one over here, shaped like that. Now we're going to join up the two circles by doing a line. There we go. Now we're going to draw the front leg. So it comes down here. There's a little paw, just like that. Then we're going to draw a line going upwards with a bend in it. So there it has a bend just here. Okay, remember if I go too quickly, don't forget to hit pause and rewind. We're now going to do the tail. So starting here, draw a line that goes down, then up and then down. They've got these wonderful big fluffy tails. So it comes round and in like so. Okay, last but not least, we'll do the little nose. It's a little circle down here. And two eyes, one here and one here. It's starting to look like a little red panda, isn't it? And that's your preparatory stage. Next stage, please carry on in pencil, but I'm just going to go over it in pen already, just to show you better on camera. So I'm going to draw the nose first, just a shape like this. Okay, I'm going to color it in a bit like this and we're going to do some furry lines just coming upwards like a triangle. Okay then we're going to draw the tiny little mouth, you don't see much of the mouth, just like this. Okay if you've got this far you're doing super super well, keep going, you've showed up today so let's finish this thing. Next we're going to do the markings, so starting from the bottom of the chin just there, draw a line coming up round like this goes under where the eye is and around. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So it comes upwards, it's gonna go under where the eye is gonna be and around, okay? Next, we're going to put in the eyes. So they've got these big, wonderful eyes. So big eye there, one eye there and one on the other side. Don't forget to leave a little bit of white, just so it looks as if the light is catching it. Okay, now we're going to carry on with these markings around the face. There's one marking that comes underneath the eye and comes round. We're going to do exactly the same because the markings are symmetrical. Up and round. We're going to colour in these markings. Just like that. And like that on this side. There we go. Now for the rest of the markings. So underneath this one, we've got a big shape that comes round 
and in. You can do the same on the other side. So it goes round, like really, really chubby cheeks, if you can imagine that. And then in. Okay. And then we're going to follow the line round here until we get to the centre part of the ear. Now, centre part of the ear, we're just going to draw a fluffy inside of the ear. Just like that. Okay. Now we're just going to draw the fluffy outside of the ear. So using like these kind of jagged lines. That's what I use to kind of show that it's furry. Just like that. Okay. We're going to do the same on the other side. So the cheeks come out a bit further like this. They come in and we'll do the inside of the ear. Just like that. And then we'll do the outside of the ear with these kind of jaggedy lines. There we go. Just like so. And now the top of the head. So just join it up. Just do lots of little dashes to show fur. Okay, we're just going to finish the markings now on the face. So we've got a line that comes up like this and one up like that. And this one goes upwards again, down around. So upwards again, down around, just like that. Okay, we're going to draw a couple of dots here and a couple of dots there just to show that there are whiskers. And there's the head. So we'll carry on with the body now. So there's lots of the red pandas are very, very furry. So just keep using these kind of dashes as lines coming all the way down until we hit the paw. Okay, then for the paw, we'll do all the little toes. There we go. And then more furry lines coming underneath here. Just like that. Okay, we're going to draw in the other leg that's just peeping out behind this one. So again, just these little dashes. And then the paws over here. Just a couple of toes, just peeping out. Don't forget to draw the little claws. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do the back. So more of these dashes. All the way around. And we're going to draw the back leg. So line comes round like this and then comes down like so. And then the feet are just behind this branch so you can't really see them very well. Next we're going to add the tail. Now they have these wonderful majestic tails so we know where the tail's going to go so I'm going to draw these kind of jaggedy lines in layers. goes up like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Just like that. And now I'm just going to follow this line all the way around until I get to the end. Okay, we're going to do the top part now. Lots of these little dashes to show that it's really, really furry. Super furry. All the way down round. Okay, so we're going to carry on these little um, kind of layers because that shows us where the markings are. So lots of little dashes or little dots, just drawing all the different layers. Some are darker than others. So just coming all the way around. Got quite a stripy tail, you see. So just coming all the way around until we reach the end. We're going to colour in the end one and we're going to colour in every other one. So there's one, there's another one here, another one here, another one here, another one here, and then we reach there. Next, we're going to draw the tree and the branch. So we're going to do this in a bit more detail. Trees aren't usually that smooth, so I'm just drawing lots of like, wiggles in my line. So it comes around here, it goes underneath the tail, and then it juts out here. And it doesn't have to be straight. Trees are very rarely straight. So 
so it goes down here and goes off like this and then we do the bottom of the of the branch so wiggly lines more wiggles keep on wiggling all the way down and round so that's the tree branch there now i'm going to raise all the pencil markings and if you haven't done so already, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil markings. Okay, now we're going to add some shadows. So in the areas where the light doesn't reach, so for example, underneath the um, legs over here and here. So we're going to draw lots of lines. So try and keep your lines in the same direction. And then we're going to do more. So, for example, on this um, arm that's over here, just do it like that. Underneath the chin, it's going to be dark there. There we go. And also just round here, just round the sides, just like so. And then the top of the head. I know this isn't in shadow, but it's quite, the fur's a lot darker on the top of the head. So I'm just going to show that it's quite a bit darker. There we go. Oh, it's looking very cute now, isn't it? Okay, just round here. And a bit of shadow down here. And then obviously underneath the tail. Keep going with the shadow. There we go. Now we're going to add some shadow underneath the tree branch. So all in the same direction, just do lots and lots of lines. Just like this. All going in the same direction. And then now I'm going to change the direction to the opposite direction. This is called cross hatching. So it's a good technique to use when you want to draw shadow. So you just do a bunch of lines in one direction and then do a bunch of lines in the other. Creates a nice technique, just like that. I'm going to draw a little bit more shadow underneath the panda. Here we go. And around here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to carry on the shadow just a little bit, just along the tree trunk. Around here. And down here as well just to kind of finish off our drawing. A little bit darker underneath the tail. Got to get a balance so that the darker parts over here are as dark as the dark parts over here, if that makes sense. I hope it does. <laughs> so just do a bit more around here. And there we have our finished red panda drawing. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, check out the video that's coming up here next. And I hope to see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like.